Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, and this is a series that, again, I've been wanting to do for a little while, and it seems like a suitable follow-up to Oxenfree, which did around this time a few years ago. This is Night in the Woods, described by some as Life is Strange, but furry and good, and I don't have any problems with Life is Strange, but I am a peak furry trash, so sure, but no, I I've seen... I would say I've seen half of this game. I've seen it from beginning to end, but only one specific... That there are multiple ways through it, is what I'm trying to say. And we'll just see how this goes. This is probably going to be different from a lot of my usual Let's Plays, because this will be a bit more subdued. Similar to Oxenfree, because it's that time of year. It It's very fitting for this time of year. I shall just shut up and start the game and see where we go from there. In the year Grandad died, we had the fl the first flood since 1998. The highway extension came, or we had the worst flood. I'm gonna go with the highway extension. The road through Possum Springs had been the only way to the state park. The highway took the traffic, but gave us Donut Wolf. Grandad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. In their wings, in their trees, or they went looking for the gods. They feared death. Don't we all? Not really. I I'm gonna go with they went looking for the gods. And died in lonely places. On his last day, he sat up suddenly, and stared bug-eyed through the window. At the old parking lots, at the old empty mill, at the old playground, at the old trains. Eh... I'm going to go with the old playground because nostalgia ween, he says on the 4th of November, half washed away. He turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. That, that sounds like I'm not taking it seriously, but that is very much on brand for this game. So, well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything, but I figured someone would be here. Hmm. Welcome home, May. So yes, this is our protagonist, May. She's a cat. She lives in Possum Springs, and she's just come home. Possum Springs has never looked more falsely advertised. It's one of those towns. Ooh, look, a vending machine. Fiasco Fox, you are too dreamy. Girl, same. Must be such a relief to pay for companies that Possum Springs gets zero cell reception. It'd be cool to call my parents, but some jerkhole took the time to actually rip it off. Who steals a phone? Again, girl, same. So, that should give you an impression of what this game is like. It's... moments. It, it's a series of moments, a slice of life, almost. Oh good, there's there's TV in the background, there's... Excuse me, where is everybody? What's in the news? Ah, I'm so overstimulated. 10.45, it's closed. Not a lot of folks getting off the last bus to Possum Springs these days. Just you. Isn't there supposed to be someone at the desk? Or are you the janitor or something? I'm not going to presume, I will just ask about the desk closed. Is it now? Why are the lights on? Why is the TV on? I get spooked when I'm here by my lonesome. Oh. Well, fair enough. I'm just going to watch TV for a minute here. And again, this should absolutely demonstrate this game is very furry. You should not be surprised by this. If, if I watch TV non-stop, then you're just going to... <laughs> what motive would you have to play the game for yourself, apart from the various endings? So... The door is broken. Everything's broken, fix it now. How dare you, sir? Just because I am youthful and you are a bird. Well, that's nice. Free as in free? Free as in no one's here to say otherwise. Also, we can jump. I'm just gonna jump on everything because I can. Cats do that, don't you know? They have lime fiasco and he wants a fiascola. That's just a waste. Well, May, get one for yourself then. Okay, just gotta grab it. Grab. Get used to this. Also, it's funny because the F on it represents the F key that you need to press to interact. But yeah, get used to little sort of, little mini moments like that as well. It's not all conversation here. One free ass cola. You're welcome. Good. The people in this town are just charming. Yummers. So what are you doing here? I live here. 
well, lived here. Eh, strange. When do you think that door's gonna be finished? Now. Goodbye. Uh, bye. Yeet. Well, let's be on our way then. We have a home to return to. That's the bus station. There's a light. We can, we can talk to the radio tower. Nah. Well, I'm right outside town. Mom and Dad nowhere to be found. Dark and cold. Guess I'm walking. Alone. As usual. Talk to yourself, May. Please don't let my walking interrupt you. The bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Springs. Guess they got state funding or something. Makes a good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory back there. Not getting rid of that anytime soon. That's Possum Springs. Any further thoughts to add, May? Of course you do. Wow. I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. I used to hear it in my bed at night. During the winter, when the leaves were down. Which it appears to be now, currently. Well, I guess I gotta hike through the woods. Through the woods is home. My bed. And my negligent parents. You could tell she's exaggerating somewhat. But th this game is very good at building moments such as that. It's very character driven, very personality driven. Not quite as serious as Oxen Free, or rather, it is, but in different ways. Just gonna yeet off into the abyss. It's fine. Oh, this is some dank nature. Dank nature and garbage. Dank memes! It's moist down here. There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a log load at some point. Sigh. Gonna have to climb this, I guess. Sounds a little bit tee-heeish, honestly. Like, the, they, they lost a load of logs? I don't know, it sounds vaguely suggestive. Well, we must parkour. I'm just gonna jump on this. There we go. Cat parkour. I hope this game appeals, because... Oh my god. That was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing. Amazing. I'm not gonna die in this hole. Especially not next to a can of Fias Cola. So yeah, we have parkour, we have people interactions, we have little mini moments that involve grabbing cans. It really is a good slice of life of living in semi-rural America, or so I would assume. Like, as, as someone who's never been to America, this does seem to resonate with my understanding of the American world. I won't stop to look at absolutely everything, but it's good for setting the scene. We haven't been here in maybe ten years, and apparently no one else has either. We have numbers. I don't know what they were going for here. Some sort of boat castle? Most of it's gone now anyway. Just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. Girl, same. Ahoy. That's all I have to say on the matter. Triple job! Yeet. Yes. When I said parkour, I wasn't kidding. It's only been two years since I lived here. Not in this playground. Possum Springs, I mean. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Funnily enough, we have a notebook. Your parents forgot you. You are parents forgot you. Also, we have options. Options. It's good. Anyway, you could also sort of bounce because life's not dangerous enough as it is. If you're walking a tightrope, might as well bounce on it because cats. Good landing. Hello, May. Been a while. Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds, and I saw you in the very off-limits playground. So, get in the car, May. No. You want to spend your first night back in jail, May? No. Cat shenanigans. And funnily enough, this police person is family. Bless this mess. And thusly we arrive at May's home. May is home. At her home. And there is Dad Cat. Hey, remember me? Ah! May, you gave me a heart attack. Good. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. May, honey, we thought you were coming tomorrow night. You thought wrong. How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested. By Aunt Molecop. Oh, did you say hi to Molly for me? No. I say hi for no one. F the cops. I'm going to bed. Is my bed still here? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that, too? Ah, uh, May, so good to hear that voice again. 
Good night. And on that note, we have been saved. We have a sketch of Dad Cat. He looks older. We can just walk up the stairs. You don't need to jump up them like in other video games. Oh, look, our house is sponsored by Twitter. What clock is it? A few things hanging around in here from the old country. This clock, the trunk in the storage room, and whatever is buried under the house after the cement incident. We go into this room. It's not our room, but it is a room. Ugh. Since when is the crawl space all jammed up? I wonder if Dad could move them. Yes, but not for a very long time, as I recall. I could be wrong. This isn't my life, after all. No, I want to stay on this floor. You have to jump to stay on this floor. Nothing of value here, unfortunately. Well, not for the moment, anyway. So, just dip into the floor for a moment and then jump to get on the stairs. Because perspective, it's a fun thing. House is full of perspective. And finally, of course we live in the attic, because that's the sort of... That's just very on-brand for me, as we will come to learn. Precious cat child, and incredibly relatable. Well, we're home. The following morning, again, very relatable, and until I recently started training myself to get up earlier, just lie in bed, wait until you wake up naturally by the sunlight and me pressing the F key on the keyboard. Well, it's morning, we're dressed already, did we ever undress? Also guitar. I used to have a guitar. Could play some bass, but which song? Maybe later. Space Dragon. I'm here for Space Dragons. Wanderer in space! No matter of the forbidden place! Wasn't that just marvellous? Uh, that was pretty much perfect. So, that should give you a rough idea of May's life in general. We've just moved back to Possum Springs. She plays the bass. She lives in the attic. 
How the hell do you draw a space dragon? Well, that's just lovely. I think, for now, because I'm still sort of getting used to the flow of this game, I think I'll end the first episode here. So, thank you for watching. I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons, and in the next episode we'll delve a bit further into Possum Springs and just get used to our new life back home. Hope you'll join me for that. See you in the next one.